is rosy, but success has followed on and off the field. Silverware in abundance has been important, but so has financial stability after massive debt in purchasing the stadium. But it's managing change and building bridges behind values that has also brought him a lot of satisfaction. A very special place to work, first of all, the second best test ground in the world. Um, being in charge of the National Mobile Cape Cobras, which is a fantastic team. To end it off in the 10th season with a 10th trophy is something that I couldn't really have dreamt with at the beginning, when it was quite tough actually. And we had to, for several years to really crisis manage around financial difficulties. And this ground is known all over the world for its beauty and its tradition. And to have been operationally in charge for more than a quarter of the test matches played here in 120 years uh, because of the modern schedules is like very, very special. Woodendahl was CEO of Robben Island for 10 years and remembers special times with late President Nelson Mandela. He has headed several transformation committees and feels a lot still needs to be done. Transformation and excellence is, is a way of summing it up. I've prided myself on being an institution builder at University of Western Cape, Robben Island Museum and now in cricket um, and managing change and building bridges behind values and I think that's what we need in South Africa. A pioneer who played under the SACOS code before unity, he has proved himself to be a visionary and a nation builder. He leaves Western Province and Cobras cricket in a healthy state. Craig Murray, SABC News, Cape Town.